how is this helpful? Um, with an array, to find an index like this, with a, if you're looking for a command one, you have to loop through it to find it, which index it's at. With a collection, you don't have to do that. You go straight to the key. Um, so you can see this would be, excuse me, the index. Well, it's the key. See up here? Yeah, it's the key. And you can move the index quickly by adding with the before and after. Do you want to add it before the previous key, after the key? And the fact is you can, in this collection, you can use anything. Use a string. You don't, I don't think you want to mess with the item being the same as the key. Um, just put whatever. I don't think it matters actually. But um, then we could get the string out too. But you want to be careful because this is a control. Control. Command button. Label. And text. So if we loop through here. Through that. Um, we would do the. Let's do the dim. Int next number as integer or int next number equals 1 to 3. Now, let me explain this again. This is index 1, index 2, index 3. That's how the, the collection is set up. So here, um, if I try to message box, um, that it should not work off this one properly because it's a button. This one's a label. Message box, if you remember, has to be a string. This one should work because it has a string right here. See? So, um, what I would do in this case is you could put dot name and that'll work for here and here, but it won't work for the third one because it's a string. See? Exactly. <clears throat> so this could be helpful in some cases. Um, you'll notice that it's really not used very often um, just because we don't use it. Although it could be very helpful. Um, you could, what I suggest, is stick with the arrays. One to three as um, then we could put control or command button, but um, you can see here that, well, with the collection we could have had anything because it's variant. Well, I believe you can do the same thing here as variant, but the biggest difference is when you're doing the array and you're doing the control, I would stick with the array in most cases because it's smaller and it's faster, but when you start doing the big numbers, one to let's say ten thousand okay and you have all those declared for whatever reason you have that many you're not going to loop through that many to find an index key that's horrible um, what you want to do is just quickly get one so if I just said well, what is W that's command one button um, I couldn't find that in the array I have to loop through until I find W and then I could exit that function and say, oh, it was command one. That would take an extremely long time. So that's the big difference. Um, other than that, if it's anything small, I would just suggest using an array and whatever your object is going to be, or your data type, excuse me, if it's going to be a command button or label or an integers, that's what I would do. Um, let's go over the dictionary real quick. So to do this with the dictionary, a dictionary is a little faster. Um, you go to project up here, go to references, and remember I showed in the video how to add a reference. Um, go down here until you see Microsoft. I really hate this. I have to use it this way. Come on, go up faster. Okay. Okay, stop. All right here, Microsoft scripting runtime. Hit OK. Now we can see dictionary and the same thing I believe you have to put um, as new dictionary. So we'll go dictionary as new um, dictionary. Now you have to use that reference to use the dictionary and um, it's a little bit better 
in the collection uh, just simply using the object or the dictionary and then add you could do count see if a, a key exists or an item excuse me um, that was passed to you a true or false value you can check your items um, your, your keys or even remove or remove all um, from your index um, excuse me from your dictionary so it's a little bit more powerful it's a little bit faster um, from tests that I've seen uh, however you have to add that reference for that and some people just don't um, they're going to stick with those arrays and then last they're going to stick with the collection if they have to um, so that's going to do it for now if there's any questions please message me um, I'm showing so much so quickly and I just enjoy it I hope you guys are too and I hope this is helping you out we are going to be moving on to a lot more advanced things and then we're going to start doing some actual programming um, some things I would start with the windsock pretty soon and that is going to get everybody a little bit happy in that area because you just don't find good tutorials on that um, so please do watch all the videos up to this point and get as advanced as you can uh, do your own practicing because if you aren't very efficient very good at what you're doing uh, for programming you're gonna have a lot of issues um, a lot of questions that you should have been able to solve by yourself um, for me showing you what you can do and what you can't do so I'm going to go off for now. Thank you so much, and I hope this helps you out quite a bit.